America has always been propelled into the future by landmark national investments, investments that only the government has the capacity to make. Sixty-five years ago today, President Dwight Eisenhower signed a bill that created the interstate highway system. Sixty-five years ago today. That was the last infrastructure investment of the size and scope of what of the agreement I'm about to talk about today. This is a generational investment, a generational investment to modernize our infrastructure, creating millions of good-paying jobs. And that's not coming from me, that's coming from Wall Street. Millions of good-paying jobs and positions America to compete with the rest of the world in the 21st century because China is way out working us in terms of infrastructure. We're not just tinkering around the edges here. We're going to invest $66 billion in rail to eliminate backlogs, bring world-class rail service to areas outside the Northeast. Here in Wisconsin, we'll add new stops in Green Bay, Madison, and Eau Claire. This deal also makes the largest investment in public transit in American history. A whole lot of people here in Wisconsin depend on public transportation, like the bus system here in La Crosse. America is one of the highest road fatality rates of anywhere in the industrial world. Let me say that again. The highest road fatality rates of any industrial nation in the world. I lost a wife and daughter and almost lost two sons. Look. Our fatality rate is double the rate in Canada on a per capita basis. I bet every one of you here can tell me what the most dangerous intersections in your town are. I'll lay eight to five, no matter what the town is. Maybe you don't have many, but everybody knows what intersections are the most dangerous. When you're teaching your kid to drive, what do you do? You tell them, no, don't go down that road. When you come home, I'm being deadly earnest. When you come home, come home the other way. Well, guess what? We got an agreement to invest $11 billion to help cities and locales reduce crashes and fatalities in their communities, especially for cyclists and, and, and pedestrians, which are increasing significantly. 